Hello guys, me Austin Dawson here, and big news, as we know, Matthew Stafford and the Lions agreed on terms for Stafford to be traded, and yesterday, we got news that Matthew Stafford is being traded to the Los Angeles Rams for Jared Goff, two future picks, and a third round pick, um... The deal sends, according to ESPN, the deal sends quarterback Jared Goff a third round pick in 2021 and a, a first round pick in in 2022 and a first round pick in the 2023 to, to the line in exchange for Stafford. However, the deal is not officially until the first day of the new league year, which is March 17th. Wow. All I gotta say, this is great for the Lions, honestly. We need to get rid of Stafford. It's about time, first of all. Tip my cat to Stafford. Thank you, Stafford. Um, I don't agree with, your, uh, really with um, the kneeling you did in, our, in the beginning of the season, but what you did for this city, for the Lions, the hard work, the pain, the suffering you went through with those injuries, uh, the passion you have for this team, for the fans, Especially for your family, we thank you, or I say I thank you for being for being a lion. Um, Putting your heart out there, cut those comeback wins. You know, just unbelievable player, definitely underrated. And hopefully, with the Rams, with that Rams defense, you know he can sit back a little bit, um, do his thing, and hopefully he can do something with the Rams. And now we have Jared Goff. I'm not sure what his contract is. I know he has a big contract. I'm not sure how long we have him for. Maybe we can keep him for a couple of years, trade him off, you know, get some more picks. Because I don't think Jared Goff's the dude we need to keep. You know, he. we need another, we need a fresh quarterback. You know, like we did Matthew Stafford when we were always 16. And we need a fresh new start. We're on the rebuilding year. Just as the just like the Red Wings are. Got a Red Wings shirt on. They played yesterday. Um, they lost in overtime to the, to the um Florida, but they're definitely doing better. Um, I'm really liking that they're um trying to get back to their winning ways, trying to rebuild, see what they can do. Steve, I really like what Steve Eiserman is doing. The pickups he made the, um this last off season, and we'll see how that works for the Red Wings and. Lions, you know, they're going to do the same thing. You're going to do a complete rebuild. A complete rebuild. You know, keep some veterans. But our defense needs some work. We need to draft defensively. And do not get Justin Fields. Do not get Justin Fields. I understand he looks flashy. He can run. You know, he got me that pocket passer. But he's not going to be that deal. Ohio State quarterbacks, they don't work out in the NFL. They don't. Ohio State players don't seem to work, like, maybe defensively, you know, they do, but quarterback-wise, you know, running back-wise, you know, do they really, you know, Ezekiel Elliott, is he really that dude now? Ezekiel Elliott really hasn't been the dude lately. He hasn't. He's been a bit of a disappointment, and I'm, I just, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really that impressed with Justin Fields. I think he's, I think when it comes to Ohio State players, they're more for college than for pros that I've seen. But I would go more with defense. I would, I would, what I would do, keep Jared Goff for a year or two. Draft your defense. Get your defense, you know, from there. You know, we, I think our running game isn't bad. We got tied in. You know, we could sign Gall Galloway if he wants to stay with the Lions. And, you know, we'll just have to wait and see from there. We also got some co coaches as well. Um, let me go through them. I'm on, um. Detroit Lions website. Um, yeah, Dan Campbell. I'm, I'm very excited. I like his energy. You know, that's the one thing I like. Is you don't know how this dude's gonna be. You know, but the energy he brings. You know, I like that. You gotta get your players up. You gotta get them hyped. You gotta get them to believe. To believe. You know, you got. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, ex I'm excited for this opportunity. You know, you know. You want hypeness, but at the same time, he's gotta be good. So we we'll just have to see. I appreciate the Lions for trying. I feel like this is the first time they've been trying in decades. 
really wouldn't last when they really even tried. Probably, 90s, did they really try? You know, they had a decent team, but they had Barry Sanders. You know, who did they really have? You know, they had Bill, Bill Sim, Bill Simmons? I, I apologize, that's the style pronounced last thing. He was also a nice player. Um, I'm sure we had some nice other players as well. But really, since the 50s, we haven't done anything. We haven't. We've been fake. We've just been fake thinking, oh yeah, we're something, but one playoff win? That's it? You gotta do better than that, man. You got. I'm sorry. How, how, even, even when you don't give a crap, how do you only have one playoff win in, in over, what, 60 years? Like, it's pathetic. But anyway, um, Dan Campbell, he's 22, NFL experience, um, two line coach, 11 years as coach, and 11 as a player. Um, he mostly recently served as the assistant head coach and tight ends, tight ends coach for New Orleans Saints. A position he held since 2016. Yeah, um, Anthony Lynn, um, offensive coordinator, um, defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn, Glenn, um, special teams coordinator David Flip, 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 is that it? Flip? Flatter that that's wrong. Um, assistant head coach slash running backs. Um, I apologize if I'm saying that it's wrong. Um, do, 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 Stan, Stanley, um, quarter, quarterbacks, um, Mark, Bruller, Bluer, Bluer, um, offensive line, Hank, Flurry, Flally, Flally, um, tight ends, Ben Johnson, offense, off, offense assistant, Tanner, Ing, Ing, Ingstein, Ingstein, um, senior, um, defensive assistant, Dome ca Capture. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. I've seen the list here. Um, okay, where am I at here? Okay. Senior, de senior def defensive assistant, Dome Capture. Did I just say that? I apologize if I already said that. Um, inside linebackers, Mar D. D, D loan passing game cor coordinator slash defensive backs and am amber amber did I say am amber pleasant pleasant defensive quality coach Steve Steven Stephen Steven Thomas um head strength and core and coordinating Josh Slasher, Slasher Slant, Slander, um, assistant strength, and coordinating Morris Henry, coaching at ad administration. I probably said that wrong. I'm terrible at this. I apologize. Completely apologize. On the red, my eyes are getting red or watery. Um, Chief of Staff slash Head Coach at Administration, um, Kevin Ander Anderson, um, Director of Football Research, David Cor 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 Corlin Corlo. Yeah, um, we'll just have to see how this works, guys. Um, you know, it's gonna be a long rebuild. You know, hopefully. Hopefully the next four, four plus years, we'll get somewhere. But thank you, Stafford, for sure. Great player, hard worker. Went through a lot, a lot of injuries, man. A lot of injuries. One of the toughest NFL players in this league, for sure. And I wish him luck with the Los Angeles Rams. Hopefully that works out for them. Hopefully this works out for us with the future picks. We gotta go more defense on this one. Our defense is awful. Our defense hasn't been good since Cardwell. So, we'll just have to see what happens, guys. Guys, and... Oh, yeah, um, this is... Off topic. But, um... Got some manga books here. Here's the first one. they are reading this one. Um... A, a certain, um, scientific railgun. Um... Got fairy tale. 100 Years Quest, Volume 6, the other one, the other one was Volume 9, and then 
I got Sailor Moon, Volume 4. Um, yeah, um, my fourth, yeah, fourth, I have four mangas now, so, they're pretty cool, I actually like, I like how the designs they are, um, it's fun to read, I like it, you know, I read a little, little bit of pages each day, um, yeah guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys for the like and support, thank you guys for always, um, watching these videos, liking the videos, commenting, sharing, whatever you guys, any support, I thank you guys. Without you guys, without me, it wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be possible without all of us. Positive guys, try to see that light within that darkness. Try to be more thankful. You know, not every day is promised. You know, time is always undefeated. And you just never know when your last day will come. And we just need to be more grateful, more appreciate for the time that we have with the people that we have. Or even with ourselves, you know. You just never know when life can be gone just like that. With any of you guys, hope you guys enjoy hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Say Sunday. Or say say the end of the weekend, the end of the weekend. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekday. And see you guys next time. Go Lions and go Red Wings. Peace out. Super Bowl's next week. Hopefully the Buccaneers will get it done. And hopefully it'll be a great Super Bowl. I'm predicting 31 28 Buccaneers. Tom Rick is the MVP. See us next time. Peace out.